Together, Gibraltar says for a government to claim it does not have enough time to have monthly sessions of parliament because of Brexit, only to then have its chief minister skulking in the shadows writing articles to undermine his political opponents, would be politically fraudulent and unjustifiable. It says new people is nothing more than a window into the chief minister's mind, carrying a weekly character assassination on whomever has angered him the most, sometimes using privileged information available to the government. The party points out the government has spent £7,000 of taxpayers' money in advertising for this paper this year alone and recalls that Mr Picardo was vehemently critical of the GSD government doing exactly the same thing with the seven days publication. Together, Gibraltar says it has been able to confirm, as the GSD did last July, that the chief minister is the ultimate beneficial owner of the new people. It says in the UK, if a political leader owned a newspaper, channeled taxpayers' money into it, then used it to criticise his opponents, a Parliamentary Standards Commission would already be investigating the state of affairs. Finally, the party says there are not journalists working for the new people, only a retired head teacher publishing whatever the GSLP hands him, and describes this as the journalistic equivalent of a fake profile. But the GSLP says Together Gibraltar are wrong to suggest that absence by bylines where a journalist's name appears under an article is somehow wrong, quoting The Economist and the BBC as examples. It says Marlene Hassan Naon fought the 2013 by-election defending the GSD practice of giving the seven days newspaper over £100,000 in one year, more money than had been paid to the Gibraltar Chronicle that year in advertising. Chairman Pepe Balaguino says the chief minister does not own the shares of the new people beneficially, but holds them on trust for the executive committee and members of the GSLP. He says it has repeatedly been confirmed that the new people is written by an editorial board and by members of the GSLP executive committee under Antonio Roca as its editor, and that in the meeting of parliament held last July on the budget, Mr Picardo himself confirmed that he writes in the new people. He goes on to say that Daniel Fitam, Ms. Hassan Naon's party leader in the GSD, also confirmed that he wrote in the New People under the pseudonym Socialist Worker. The GSLP says perhaps Ms. Hassan Naon should tell Parliament who the Spanish authors of her speeches are every time she makes a speech, many of which echo Spanish policy on Gibraltar's financial services. It says Ms. Hassan Naon is nothing but a rich politician pretending to be a champion of the working class.